how to integrate dark mode to any Next.js application. So here's a quick demo. You can click the sun icon for light mode or the moon icon for dark mode. You can also use this option for the system preferences, but whatever your system is set to, it'll choose that theme. So mine is in dark mode, so it's in dark mode, light mode. So let's begin. So here I've got a terminal window. I'll just go to the directory which I want to go to. There, and create the latest Next.js app. This. I'll keep the project name as dark mode. TypeScript, yes, yes, then yes. Just waiting for it to complete. Okay, we'll go to that application which was dark mode, uh, CD to dark mode. Open the VS Code. Yep. Now to use Next.js 13, you'll have to do some configuration. First one is you go here and just type app dir true. No, sorry, it's experimental. Experimental app dir. It's an object. Yeah, yeah. True. Yep. You create a folder called app page dot psx r a f c e the name to this okay and you'll just start the local environment allow typescript and if I go to a local host okay yes so when you're using next next.js 13 you'll have this page where the app starts from you'll have to delete that so i'll delete it refresh yep it's here so now next we'll install tailwind css so next tailwind let's go here install In the configuration file of the Tailwind, which will appear shortly, yeah, here you'll have to add this. So when you're using Next.js 13, you'll have to add another line, which is the app. So we are telling Tailwind that uh, we are telling Tailwind that um, our Tailwind files will be located in this directory, which is, oops, one second, sorry. Okay, I'll rename this to app as all my files go there. Yeah. So as you can see here, once I started my local environment, these pages were automatically created for me. Yeah, layout, head. So now just to test whether it's working. Okay, yeah, I have to also install this. Go to global.css. Yeah, remove all that, paste this here. And check whether it's, still, whether it's working. Mm. Let's go pages. 
Okay, I'll just check that it's working. H1 app uh, class name. Sorry. Text red 500. Okay, it's not working. It's because we have to import the global CSS here in the layout. So dot dot um, public styles globals dot CSS. Yeah, let's try that once again. Still not working. Let's go here. What am I missing? Is it open? One second, guys. Mm, styles. Should work. I'll just restart the local environment. I think now it should work. Okay, it's working. I just had to restart the terminal. So now let's download the dependencies for the dark theme. So it was called, I think, next dark. Yeah, it's here. Next themes. We'll install this dependency. Over here. Okay, now it's, now it's there. So whenever you're having any... Uh, so in this, if you go to the repository here, you have to provide the theme provider in the components uh, page component uh, components so in order to do that in next 13 we'll have to create a new providers here so that we can give the theme provider here so I'll just create one providers I'll put here I'll have to create it code add providers.psx it's created okay r a f c e providers okay i'll import this hmm. check that once again if it's working i'm going to import it manually It's in the same directory, sorry. Providers. Strange. Mm, let me just check. Providers. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have to. Providers. Is this the yeah, this? Okay, my spelling was wrong. Okay, so now we'll have to give this to the children as well. We'll have to copy this. Copy and put, put it here. Yeah, save everything. Now, here you can give provide the theme providers this thing. You can just copy this. Put, put it here. Okay. And instead of providers, it will be children. Children. Yeah. We'll have to import this as well. Steam from next themes. Yeah. Yeah. Now we don't have any problems. So we'll have to now create a component for the dark button.
so let's create one pool add dot mode btn dot tsx rafce so here we'll put all our logic for converting the page to dark mode so we'll go here so usually when you uh, integrate the dark mode for next js you go here because there's some mounting issues if you use a regular one so you go here i'll import use theme paste it here mm, i'll take this sort of state i'll take the themes put it here i want this as well yep that's good i think that is about it. okay yeah you'll have to configure it in such a way that you'll get some hydration issues if you don't have these configurations so i'll copy this paste this here import use effect and use state use state yeah so now if i go to my environment hmm, not a function let me see let me check if i go to layout providers okay this is correct just give me a moment guys Okay, yeah so th as this has all the I found the issue it was basically as we have use effects and use states you'll have to in next.js 13 you'll have to explicitly say that this is client use client yeah and also here use client because all pages by default are server-side so when you're using Next.js 13, you'll have to say which part is the client and which part is uh, the server. Okay, now let's go to our main pages and import that component dark button, dark mode button. Yeah, should have this. And there's no fast reload also. That's a big problem. <laughs> yeah, now it works. Right. Okay. Now I'll show you how to use uh, Tailwind CSS. If you want uh, to uh, apply the dark mode for Tailwind CSS, you'll have to go here and just say dark mode class. The, if you don't do this, the pages won't appear as you want it to. So I've got some. Uh, one second dark mode okay so just to try this i've i have an instance running here i've already built this so i'll just copy and paste this here okay then put the link Oops. okay and i'll ref I'll save this refresh it okay now if i go dark mode it works the sun icon and moon icon button here so first you will have to destructure current you know, system theme from use themes then you'll have to make a constant called current themes current theme sorry 
which will which will be equal to three. This will be equal to system. So if this is true, then set it to system theme. Else theme, whatever the theme is. Theme. So you can I have already installed uh, React icons. You can go here npm i react icons and install that so take out whichever icon you like so i have taken bs fill sun and bs fill moon so i'll go here and render it i'll conditionally render it current theme but the spelling is wrong theme t h e m okay So if this is equal to dark, I want to render out something else. I want to render out something. Okay. So if this is true, I'll render out the sun icon. B S fill sun. Else I'll render. Is fill moon. Let's check whether that's working. Okay, it's working. Uh, I'll give some styling to it. Class name, height will be eight. W will be eight. Press a pointer. Text yellow. We'll give it a five hundred. Last name H eight W eight cursor pointer. Let's see how it looks. Oops. Okay, it's working. So now we'll put the logic inside. So on click, it should set the theme to light. Set. Light and for the moon icon, I'll put the opposite of light, which is dark. What's the issue here? Okay, I didn't close it. Yeah, now it should work. Let's refresh it now. If I click this it changes to light mode and if click again it should change to dark mode if it's not I think it's because this refresh it okay yeah now it's working okay that's it thanks for watching until next time